Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man No Shot campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without firing a single shot or using a single explosive. Yep, you heard that correctly. And not only that, we're fighting against the Chosen, the Assassin. She needs to die before she can um, shoot down our Avenger. And uh, the biggest problem with that is the sarcophagus. I talked about the sarcophagus beforehand. It's a mechanical item, so it takes uh, no damage um, from uh, any um, ability that would normally just deal damage to um, biological uh, creatures such as domination or mind spin, soul fire and the like. But it can take damage um, from psionic uh, abilities that would deal damage to uh, mechs and to other mechanical units such as Null Lens or Void Rift. I'm not sure about whether or not uh, Combat Protocol will work, so we're going to see about it. What I can tell you though is what's not going to work is uh, Ionic Storm. I've tried that in my pretest and figured out that Ionic Storm, f um, for whatever reason, uh, heals the sarcophagus, uh, which is I'm a going. strange behavior. Zero damage and instead it heals uh, the sarcophagus. Well, I suppose Templars are even more OP than we thought. They can now very much heal. Uh, Sarcophagus. Okay, cool. So, let's... Start with a bit of an easy setup here for now. I don't want to trigger a lot of enemies, really. And we're going to save both the Null Lens and the Void Rift because I really want to get at these sarcophagus as, as fast as possible. I also don't want to charge in, not yet. Going to do that as, uh, we're going to do that uh, as soon as possible. But for now, let's just hold him right there. We'll eventually get to him next turn. And instead, we're moving over. Cool. Good. I mean, yeah, we could theoretically vault him. Ah, not sure if that's a good idea. Like I said, I don't want to use any of our cooldowns yet. And I know he's just going to shield up, so that's fine. Really. I don't see any problem with it. What I can do is I can skull mine him next turn, so we're going to be fine. Let's just end the turn here, and next turn we're going to engage. Yeah, they will not take a shot when they uh, can use their shield instead, but the shield will not protect them for what's going to come next, which is good old school mine. Of course, sometimes things are not working out as they should. Damn it. Good. Instead, we're continuing to massage him with short cooldown um, bursts of sonic energy. And this is hopefully going to kill him. There we go. 
advanced hair trigger is completely useless for us. Oh, wow. That was a pretty nice hit. Good fucking job. Hogbite is <laughs> dominating. Holy moly. Okay, we're keeping Inspire for now. I hope it's worth it. Yeah, we could easily... Um... Control this guy. Or use Void Rift. Nah, we're fine. All right, I'll go. I think this here is going to kill him. Just to make it less attractive to attack Diva. Give him an 8 protocol. And call it a day. Not a problem. End of turn. Of course, we're missing. Negative damage. The elders will sue me. Thank you for the parry. Appreciate it. And let's kill this guy. Big deal. Unfortunately, this triggers the chosen. Trying to spot her out. We wouldn't have had a chance to get away from her anyways. This is a tricky subject. I think I can amplify on her and still reach her. Because amplify costs him. Uh, mm. Um, a focus and that also reduces his movement range but I was right very very nice damage getting right back to maximum power No problem with standing in the open. Well, maybe a little problem. Let's move close to the sarcophagus. That's our job for this round. Parrying and... Everyone else pretty much can move over, try to aim for the Sacafidus going forward. The elder servants are eager to the way. Alright, that's two bonus hits right there. And let's hope she's going to attack Hogbite, because he has parry. There we go, perfect. Holy shit, she moved away pretty, pretty far. Can't even reach her. Wow. Okay, cool. Alright, that guy's burning. I'm on it. 
even closer and in the hopes of doing something about her. Can't put her in stasis. Too bad. I could put this guy in, into stasis if I would, wanted to. Uh, there is a great option for us though. How about we're moving up? The gift of psionic power will do nothing to slow your demise, Templar. And we are moving all the way to here. The four inspiring hogbite. And hope I hopefully can deal with her. You will pay the price. Very, very nice. 19 points of damage. That is fantastic. Good. You have no that worked out well. Power behind your paltry attempts. And I think we're pretty much ready. Just one more uh, thing. Diva tier takes an aid protocol. Just so in case the guy decides to shoot and our blade storm misses, that we do have an option. Very nice. Happy now. As one dies, another is already born to take his place. There we go. Now, not a hundred percent sure how she just moved out of uh, the map, but okay, I suppose. Hawkbite hit so hard to be some sort of that he's now hitting the enemies outside of the world. Restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. Okay, cool. Combat protocol does not work. Shite. I hoped. I really hoped it would. Alright, let's throw an axe. Nice. That's eight, po eight points of damage. Fantastic. Great. Uh, we're just moving right up here because there. that's where the enemies might spawn. Hawkbite moves right up there because that's where the enemies might spawn. And both of us cannot do anything about this here. What's over there? Moving up. And that's uh, the most damage that we can actually deal to it, besides the X. But the X was a one-time thing. This is the only kind of regular damage that we can deal. Heading out. Welcome yeah, what if... Full disclosure does not deal a lot of damage because we couldn't upgrade our Psy Amps. But yeah, I mean, for a first round that was absolutely fantastic. Don't get fooled though. Um, we've just used a lot of our Alpha Strike All potential right against it. Rolling. I wish we could use Combat Protocol. That stinks. 
All right, end of turn. We're looking at a mech. At least we got combat protocol yet now. And of course the enemy spawn exactly at the opposing side. Okay, we could theoretically take out the mech for one turn. Don't think we need to do that. Giving N8 protocol over to Diva tier. And the mech is so damaged that Hopwide will be able to finish it a hundred percent. Very nice, that's a good hit. Sorry for that camera angle. Let's move a little bit closer. And just for shits and giggles, let's go with insanity here. Might as well mind control it. It is ruptured, which is not bad. It'll take more damage. We're continuing with Void Rift. Yep, now it slows down. Five turns, six turns. It's gonna take a while to get that one down. And there she is once again. See now the futility of your actions and stand down. Your death will be merciful. Well, we gotta more, we gotta keep be. her at bay for a few rounds because four more turns until Netherlands and. To be a problem. Because if we kill her again, we are forced to attack the sarcophagus right again. Alright, parrying. Let's try to move a bit further away, shall we? It would be absolutely fantastic if we could stasis her, On the move. but unfortunately the Chosens are the only ones in the entire game that are entirely immune against against that. No need to ask twice. All right, hungering down. And let's hope she's going to continue attacking Hogbite because that is what needs to happen over the next few turns. Well, at least she's consistent in what she's doing. Summoning priests over and over and over again. Your final I will 
Well, she tried to move away, like, really, really far from us. And this time, I don't think that we can really go. reach her again. Fantastic loot, by the way. Advanced agility, great. Data pad, also pretty good. I have it. And we got Implaceable, which is even better. Is it clear? Moving far enough away. Do we have Inspire? Yes, we do. Can't really move close enough. On your order. So we're moving over here. As you direct. Bugbite is moving all the way over here and he's hoping for an inspire. I give you strength. Which will keep him on target. The Chosen tries to always move so far away that you can just not keep your up time. But not this time, my lady, not this time. Hogbite is on the case. And he's just not giving her a break. There will be no mercy for you, Templar. Closing on target position now. All right. We got a problem. We still require three more turns. And I think we are, we're going to kill her too fast. Mind control will not do a thing. What? Kill, kill, Don't tell me that I've forgotten to give him a mind shield. Oh boy, did I actually forget to give him a mind shield? The amount of energy housed in that capacitor. I fear the chosen could continue the regeneration process indefinitely. Yeah, that was not I clever. I believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. But, you know, what's absolutely fantastic about Sony characters? Damn right. They always have an answer for every single thing. It. Problem is, we really can't hit. <laughs> can't hit it. That is so discouraging. Can't hit it in melee. Otherwise, this would be absolutely over. Good, moving up. Because I hope that we're going to see someone spawn here. We can simply use stasis in order uh, to break mind control. Not a biggie. All right, in turn. Yeah, mind control would be very nice with them. Mind control wouldn't be bad with him either. Really? On that dis uh, distance into cover? Fuck is wrong. With a shotgun into cover. Alright. Let me show you how it's done, boy. Protective. 
There we go. Lockdown. Done. Mind control ends. We're trying to take over... Nope, didn't work out. He is a ruptured though, which isn't bad. One more turn. But we're not getting that one more turn. That is so unfortunate. He will be dead, 100%. Berserker can't really do anything. Might as well move as close as necessary to see him. Over here works, that is good. And we're going to start hitting him. Well, we got plenty of options for combat protocol, but no targets that we really want to hit with combat protocol. That indeed is bad. That indeed is bad. Can't really do much about stasis. Are you kidding me? Okay, well that was the first real mistake. Just leaving him there. I was so sure that uh, we would be out of range. Alright, now we are in trouble. Not in big trouble, but we are in trouble. Gremlin, medical detail. Unfortunately, we can't really deal with stasis very well. position ourselves. I want to be far away from the actual uh, Chosen. Let's just kill the officer real quick. There we go. Gotta get rid of this berserk. Wonderful. That's good. I hope it's worth it. And let's try to trick her with a big fat mimic beacon. She could attack Hogbite. That would suck. Not much of a head. My flank is exposed. Oh wow, now. that was a pretty serious hit. Your forces go weaker with every breath. Oh, and we're taking no, some more God. serious damage now. The time is now. 
that was not well uh, recovered. Overall, we're lacking damage output now with Hogbite essentially being shortly off the table. That was really bad. Alright, let's hit him. Oh, come on, are you serious? Your strike only serves to expose your inexperience. Give him a heal. Well, we've taken quite a bit of damage. We're down about half of the healing. Yep, pretty much half of the healing. We gotta make sure that we're... And we're about halfway of uh, these sarcophagus as well, but like I said, we used a lot of our damage up front. Alright, parrying. Yes, please. Inspire. Yes, please. away from this guy can we kill him ah uh, not quite could use the last combat protocol hesitant to do that don't want to use void rift either we need it for the sarcophagus Let's go with Comet Protocol. Not perfect. I would have loved to use it against mechanical units rather. But I wanted to keep the parry. Because now we're moving towards the assassin. I'm trying to bait her into... Um, charging us. Show them what the elders have asked of you. Come on. Very nice. Finally a hit. Happy now. Loyalty alone was not enough to protect them. I will not be outmatched, no outnumbered. Other wave? Yep. There will be no shelter. Ooh. Should have really given him uh, the Damn it. mind One shield. Soldiers is down. They're vulnerable to the chosen's attacks in that state. Get them back on their feet, ASAP. Luckily we got revival protocol. I'd use our cooldowns now. All right, we can deal with the Chosen. That is the most important aspect. Good. He will parry and continue the one-on-one -on -one there. Let's move around the corner and really make sure that we're in a difficult position for any anyone else to reach us. Okay, very good. Can't hit anyone. 
Now lens and void rift are reserved. Soul fire some cooldown. Would we'll use stasis. Probably a good idea. That reduces uh, the amount of mind controls and so on. Gotta get a little bit closer to the action here. Moving to position. A protocol for Diva, just in case. It's not able to kill uh, him right away. It's probably going to be another mind control. Two times in a row he dodged. And there's a pretty good chance that he's trying to... Oh, wow, okay. Well, that is bad. That's actually really bad news. The wind carries me. That is indeed incredibly bad news. All right, moving up in the hopes of maybe finding her. That is not good. The answer is no. Absolutely. Oh boy. We have another inspire. No, two turns. As long as she's invisible, we're going to have a problem here. We know she's probably not anywhere here, so the chances are really high that she's over here. I'm going to risk it. And it pays off. Yeah, we don't want her to stay hidden. We want her to face him one-on-one, one on one. mano a mano. Right, slightly moving up again. Time for, for more insanity. Boy, we're already half an hour, 40 minutes in, and this fight is still going. For oh, the love of God. What is happening? Stasis. Just to keep us in the fight. Not much that I can do, really. This guy is slowly but surely burning down. And finally put into his place. No! He's not! Oh, boy. Ah, oh, that is so bad. Deflect. No. She hit him and she hit him quite well. We have to expect our soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. We just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Ah, that was unfortunate. 
clever action. Very clever how he has effectively um, taken away the parry twice. First time it worked, second time, uh, or first time it worked for us, second time it unfortunately did not work. Still very much uh, going to continue hunting her down. I'm inside your head. Time to hit that, uh, that other priest. Unfortunately, we don't have another crowd control for him. So I would guess we're very likely going to use the Mimic Beacon, just to reduce the damage a bit. Okay, so where would we put that Mimic Beacon so it can be nicely seen? Potentially here. That way it can be seen by both of the priests, which compels them to take a shot at it. At the same time, we're going to double Blade Storm and hopefully kill the Chosen. Okay. Much closer and tougher than I would have anticipated. The priests are really, really, really starting to get on my nerve. It's just incredibly inconvenient to get them down and our sustained damage. Okwai needs to stay on her, which means we cannot really let him fight the priests. With the amount of energy housed in that and that just lets the priest seemingly run rampage. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. Okay, we now is our time. All right, let's start with this here. This world is ours. Very nice hit. That worked out well. Moving over here. Kill the guy. And that's a kill, finally. At least we're not going to start with a lot of uh, a lot of uh, leftovers. Wonderful, good. I would like to please move right there, and we're going to avoid rift six more turns. Well, that is just so bad. Awful damage, two points of damage. Well, lucky us. Now Lance is just a tiny bit better. Come on, nine points of damage, please. 
Seven is okay. Oh boy. This is really a war of attrition. Good. And turn. Well, surprise, surprise, this time we've, uh, we triggered just the right side. Oh, yet another priest. How inconvenient. Going over here. Void Rift. Come on. Deal some more damage. For the love of it. Down to half. I start doubting that that was a bad idea to come here. Kill this guy. All right, moving over. And we're going to take the Archon out for now. Yeah, our Average damage against uh, the sarcophagus is laughable. Problem is really that that we're too weak on our average damage. See now the futility of your actions and stand down. Your death will We only have three abilities uh, that deal damage Onward. to begin with. And that in itself makes it pretty hard to deal with anything, really. Very nice. That's a good hit. Moving up. We've spotted her out. Fantastic. Exactly what we needed. Moving closer. All right, I'll go. Let's inspire Hawkbite. No retreat. Very nice. You know, if we could hit the sarcophagus by just hitting it in melee. It would be such a game changer. Maybe I can mind control something and, and just hope to get a little bit more damage. Alright, moving over here. This could be a mind control. Not a good one, but it could be one. Nope. Mind control solidly resisted. Sure thing. Moving over here. Nice delayed protocol. And yeah, let's just get over here for now. 
And that's end turn. Oh, come on. Enemy is still up. Well, at least the double moved. Nope, it did not double move, it's single move. For some, the pain would be empowering. Bent, not broken. The armor is broken. Body divided. The enemy chases my life. Watch the flags. Oh boy. This is, as always, not looking good. Gremlin, get on the heels. Down to one HP and just couldn't finish him. We're down to just a tiny bit of healing, unfortunately. Not all are created equal. Luckily, Hogbite can keep up with her. And both of them will just tango from one side to the other. Yeah, we got three more turns. No need to kill her too fast. We need more priests. It just wouldn't be a fair fight if it would be uh, if she wouldn't have had more priests, right? Blinded is not too bad. It's at least not damage dealing. Unfortunately, I think I ne I'll need to kill her. And that's indeed pretty unfortunate. There you go. Because it opens up the sarcophagus again earlier than what we would want it. We're a bit short on healing, so uh, can't really let her run loose. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. Yeah, two more turns. And two more turns. It's just, just a turn too early. That is really unfortunate. All right, just strike. All right, back to sustenance. Oh, what a surprise! Parrying. Moving in and. Let's stasis this guy. So I want to deal with him. All right, moving up here, just in case something spawns up here. Damn it, two turns. So close. Uh, can't really work with that, even if we would be able to mind control the spectre. Sort of 
sort of maybe am capable to work with that. Alright, like I said, next turn she's going to be back, so we need to act fast. This guy dodged yet again. Fantastic. Alright, moving back. We do not have Inspire uh, ready and back up again. We have another, yeah, we got another stasis right here. Oh boy, how I wish that we could just fire at this thing. It would be so much easier than dealing with these guys. Alright, eat this. Gotta get the Spectre down to a level of hit points where the sh after Shadow Form where it can already be killed in one hit. I think you are melting. Yeah, too bad that she will be back. Good, eight protocol. The only thing that should not happen is that hog fight. Um, yeah, it's stasis. That would be incredibly inconvenient. Everything else is more or less fair game. See now the futility of your actions and stand down. Your death will be merciful. All right, Shadowbound, here we go. I figured that that might happen. Mind control. Hot fight is immune to it, so no problem. Okay, cool. Um, we got the assassin up there. Uh, don't want to rush in. What I really want to do is conceal myself. They won't see a thing. Moving on target location. Because we are at risk of getting hit by the assassin, and that would be really unfortunate. Instead, let's kill the Spectre. That solves this problem. Yeah, I can't really get close to the assassin. Instead, let's parry. What's over there? Moving back up. We're being well hidden here. And our healers, who essentially can only heal at this point, might as well position themselves all the way back there for now. 
heal and aid protocol works just well from there. And I think that is pretty much it. I'll get I'm hoping that the assassin will go for Hogbite. That's okay. Not that not the end of the world. That on the other hand is not okay. She just has too much movement. Damn it. Okay, cool. Or not. Let's see. A good decision. Moving up. Stasis on the priest. And inspire. On to Hawkbite. Oh boy. What a, uh, what a battle of... Uh, what a battle of uh, wits and attrition here. Carrying. Oxus takes and uh, takes a heal. All right, I'll go. Leave it moves over here. And I would really like to finish the assassin as soon as possible. Alright, she can summon even if others are still here. That's unfortunate. I was sort of keeping him alive and uh, wanted to see if that prevents her from summoning more. The answer is unfortunately it does not. The elder's power flows. All right, Hogbite, gotta stay on target. going to stay here because that triggers double blade storm cool okay so whom can we hit all of them fantastic here we go Good. Do we have another mimic beacon? No. The only one on your order. is actually on our uh, ranger. Is it clear? Gotta keep this here for future battle uh, for uh, for the sarcophagus. And I think the order best the course line. of action is actually two stasis instead of. Uh, using insanity.
Diva takes an aid protocol and the other one is on cooldown. We're running a little bit out of juice after an hour of intense battling. And it certainly doesn't help when we're missing crucial Bladestorm attacks. Hopefully they will try to mind control. Well, even better. Oh boy. Oh boy. So this here would at least scout her out if she's somewhere behind behind here. The answer is she's not. Move up to here. That would scout her out if she has been here. Damn it. Not a very good situation to be in. Alright, we found her perfect just time. That should get rid of her. Fantastic. Very good. Now, ooh, let's hit the sarcophagus. And then I think I'll end this episode because we're already an hour and eight uh, in. And boy, boy, we're not done. We need to make destroying it our top priority. Moving closer. And let's hit this guy with insanity. Nice. We got a mind controlled. Alright, come on. Solid damage were slowly but surely chipping away. Oh boy, this is draining. And turn. Wonderful. We could haywire protocol this guy. Fucking sustenance always gets us. Always gets us.
yeah, let's stasis this guy here. We're going to take him next turn. And I might, the other option is, since it's already one hour ten into, I could continue just playing and I'll do a highlight reel. Fear the void. Well, see, it's probably too long for a single episode. We're slowly but surely chipping down and getting it done. But it is indeed very, very, very slow. I have brought it to power. Amplifying. And let's charge in. There we go. Fuzzy stunned for two rounds. That's fantastic. Good. I'll cut it short and we'll only do the highlights from now when the sarcophagus gets some more damage. Right, we're jumping back in. What a massive fighting scene. Hundreds of bodies here and up here. Over the last uh, almost 40 minutes, I continue to have a tight formation here. And was essentially just juggling with the cooldowns. We're down to a little bit less than 10 hit points. And we do have an opening very soon. Our cooldowns are coming back up. We got the Chosen here nicely. We're out of healing, unfortunately. So really what we're trying to do is just weather the storm at this point. And of course. That's another kill, but not before she can finally yet again summon these nasty, nasty priests. With the amount of energy housed in that capacitor, I fear the Chosen could continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. All right, let's to try to kill them. Priority. And hopefully this time it's going to be enough to get the sarcophagus down. This is such a slug fight. Unbelievable mission. I really wouldn't wish that kind of experience to anyone here. It is like two hours of grind just to go through that. Oh, minimum damage. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, well, still having a chance, but it means that we don't need to, uh, need to deal minimum damage again. Both of the Void Rifts together. One hit point. Next round we might be able to finish it. Alright, moving up. Yet another hit. Yet another sustenance. Completely surprising, of course. Stun for two rounds, uh, meaning he will also not come out of his sustenance. Well, maybe he will. Who knows? He's stunned. Let's just move over here. 
I had a good experience with really standing next to them with more than one. And I basically switched up the technique and focused more, more on the ads instead of her, which worked out quite well. She did a lot of Harbor Wave and other minor inconveniences. That, however, is pretty major inconvenience. Two Andromedons, wow. That's bad. On the, on the upside, this mission should give us, like, a master uh, full amount of loot. Stasis to take the Andromedon out. Wonderful. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that chosen with everything we've got. All right, fantastic. We got one more Andromedon running free somewhere over here. No additional actions uh, to hand over. And let's just move here in case she spawns over here. Just gotta kill her. And we should be fine elsewise. On your order. Moving into full cover. I'm going down. Eight protocol which gives another full cover, and we should be good to go. At one time, you were all chosen by the elders. Honor them. Very nice. Yeah. Only them is the armor. It should have been a double move. Nope, the answer is it was not. Good. We gotta kill her. So, of course, I'm going to focus on finding her. Amplify. Wonderful. Charging in. Yeah, I think we got that. Good, we gotta do a little bit of crowd control here. Perfect. That worked like a charm. You have the power. Handing over just a tiny bit more inspiration. Very well. Come on. 
Nicely hit her. And that should be a kill. Come on. Oh boy, finally. Oh, what a mission. I think that was the longest fight against her that I've ever had. It wasn't easy, but we managed By the way, for those of you who left a comment in the last video, the I killed her uh, overall 11 times. Unbelievable. It felt way more than 55, to be honest. Oh, that does not include all of the summoned... Um, all of the summoned creatures, so that's 22 on top of it. Yeah. It really felt like killing 70 pretty strong enemies. Okay, fantastic. At least we know for sure now that the chosen can be taken out permanently. Everybody's wounded. I was starting to worry we might never hear the last of them. Everybody seems to be shaken. And yeah, we got untouchable. Thank you, that would have been so helpful. Gemma here uh, get a promotion. And unfortunately, Captain and Major as levels are quite useless in this particular run because they all include overwatch shots and overwatch abilities. 230 kills, holy shit. Yeah, a lot of damage. I think everybody has taken damage. But we got ourselves the Assassin's Katanas, priced weapons. And here, just look at the loot, okay? I mean, this here is the normal uh, loot of enemies that we killed, but this here shows you just how many times we killed something. Repeaters, scope, two data pads, superior speed, oh, fantastic. Holy shit, what a massive fight. I am so not looking forward for the other two. I need definitely a second Null Lens and I need to think about how I can deal more damage to that sarcophagus. I am still hard at work on the current research. Change research, commander. assassin weapons. Yes, great, cool. Redirecting our efforts, commander. We'll get to work on the new project right away. Yeah, wow. Okay. So good news. We have only two more Chosens to go. That was so liberating. That was so liberating. Fantastic. And I have had our differences, but still, I would never Shall we get the scientist? Probably, right? Like yeah, let's check the back market and then we're going to get the scientist. Avatar project looks fine now. We're no longer being shut down. Superior repeaters, uh, yes. Very good, thank you. And we got superior speed, uh, yes, thank you. It's almost as if the game wants us to get a lot of helpful support. Uh, Major Ranger isn't the worst idea, but I would rather like to continue having more intel because what I, what we want to do is we also want to make uh, contact. We've located the Elder's Hunter actively working in this region, Commander. All right, that look okay so far how about we're continuing uh, with moving to South America we want it suit up I think yeah we wanted that and let's make contact down here 
Is it the end of the, of the world not having another scientist? Yeah, maybe we're getting the scientists. We're, it's fine. We do have uh, one facility in South America in our direct reach if we need to reduce the Avatar pro uh, project. So might as well go and get that extra scientist. Good. Destroy alien relay for a hidden event that hasn't been countered before. So we might want to do that. Yeah, sounds sounds like a relatively easy mission. That here is relevant. And the sharpshooter is pretty much relevant as well. I think reflexes would suck. But yeah, then they actually would suck. But it's only for Advent Troopers. The reason why they would suck is because our Bladestorm counts as an Overwatch ability and it would also affect Bladestorm, so mm, not optimal. But 11 enemies and very difficult tells me that the Warlock is here and I really don't want to deal with the Warlock. I'd much rather go here uh, and um, slaughter some losts. That's good, we can do that. Let's take a very final look at our soldiers. You know what? I'll do that offline. The mission is long enough now. One and a half hours. Holy moly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed uh, that battle, although uh, it being a drag, please let me know and uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, it's a great way of supporting the channel. Costs you nothing. Just hit the subscribe button and see you in the next run. Bye bye, guys.